Hello YouTubers, I know it's been a while since I posted a recent video, but um, hopefully this one will be worth the wait. This program that I made was actually a game, Tic Tac Toe, but um, it works with two, com two different computers and they connect to each other using sockets, so I'm going to run this three times. I'm going to explain why I'm doing this. When you first run the program, you'll get three options. You can be player one, player two, or the server. Now, what the server does is, in order to play this game, you need a server to be running. Because without the server, this game won't be able to send and receive data. So, for this window right here that I'm moving, that's going to be the server. So I just press 3 and enter, and there's already a server created. So you can put this, that to the side. For this, this is going to be player 1, X, and this, player 2, O. Oh. Now, this program has a lot of glitches. For example, if you're the player 2 screen, while it's player 1's turn, this screen will be frozen. And, and the same will happen to player 1 if it's player 2's turn. Uh, so here's the player 1 screen. Here's the the yellow box is actually the cursor, and where the box is, and if you click on it, it'll change that to um, what your player's icon is. And as you can see on this different window, it registered that um, player one put an X there because it received the data through the sockets or through the server. So I'm gonna do that, and player one also noticed that player two put that there. So I'm just going to do this until I win. And when you win, the three spaces are marked green. And on the console, it'll say player whoever, and in this instance, player one, also known as X, wins. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to explain to you the most blatant way I can. And I'm sorry if this part confuses you because I'm kind of new to seconds too. But um, this is basically the only way I can describe it. I have three ports opened that I use from my router site, and those ports are 5000, 5001, 5002, 5003. Oh, my bad, I meant force um, ports. <laughs> so basically, player one, when you mark something, it'll send the data, the socket 5000. Then the server receives the 5000 and then it sends that to 5001 so then the player 2 or computer number 2 gets that data it receives it from socket 5001 then it then it runs a lot of if statements the if statements check all the possibilities that this data could be it could be 0x 1x and the data that it sends, it sends um, the, the, the number tile, or the number space, and then an X or a zero, indicating what it should be. And then the same happens to for player one, because player two, when it's his turn, it sends the data to socket 5002. Then, the player receives that, well, the server receives that, sends that to 5003 and then player 1 receives it from 5003 and runs the if statements. Uh, once again, I'm sorry if that confused you. Um, I'm really new to sockets. That's the only way I can describe it at the moment. Um, hope you like this video. I'll try to keep updated on like this video. Um, in compared to the other videos. But, um, hope you like it, and I will be making more.